Hi there Paint Shop Pro users, welcome to my site and welcome to this video tutorial. Uh, what I'm going to cover today is how to use the average filter to correct a color cast or to correct a, you know, any, any kind of color problem you may have. It's a really neat, quick, effective way of doing the color uh, correction. You can maybe try the uh, automatic features built into Paint Shop Pro, but I don't really like them. I don't find that they work particularly well. Um, yeah, I, I prefer my own judgment on this. So let's get started with this. First thing we're going to do is right click on the background layer and duplicate it. So now we've got a duplicate of the background. Now I'm going to go to Adjust Blur Average. And this is the average dialog box. And in the settings you have um, a high, a low, a medium setting, and factory defaults, and last used, and all these things. Just go, oh, at least I always just go with the with the high. It seems to work the best. And click OK. So now we've got this nice blurry picture. Now I'm going to change this over to Color Legacy. That's the blend mode. OK, so we did all that work just to get back to where we started. Uh, but we have places to go yet, so let's just carry on. Now Image. This is going to be a big change. Image, negative. So. What do you think of that? The uh, original image had this blue cast. And when you do negative, what you've done is brought in the color that's really missing from this whole thing. And, and I believe that's the explanation. Um, maybe it's something different. I don't know. OK, now to fix this, and we've done all the hard work. To fix this, we just go up here to the opacity setting and start dragging it down. There's 66%. If we go all the way down to 0, we're back to the original. As we go back up through the 20s, uh, there's 26. Still got a bit of the blue. I'm just watching the whites mostly. Uh, there's 42. 50. 50 has got nice white, but uh, everything else has kind of gone flat and weird. So we'll just kind of stop in around there and do some other adjustments. So now we've we've got rid of the color cast. We've got this orangey reddish thing, and we've got this blue thing. Together they produce this with a 50 or 46 percent opacity. Okay, so now we've got other things we have to do, like any kind of uh, technique that you use. There's always more to do than just one adjustment. One adjustment isn't going to cut it. Oh, by the way, with this opacity thing, if you want, you can use your up arrow and down arrow keys to change it. Uh, if you want to be fine, okay. So there, I've got 49. Now it's it's going with 48 down to the 40s. We'll just stop anywhere. Okay, I'm at 43 this time. So you can use your up arrow and down arrow keys to make the adjustment. You don't have to be fiddling around with this thing, this tiny little thing. I'm using my Wacom pen. It's a bit more accurate than my mouse, um, so it makes it a bit easier. Okay, so now we want to modify this, and well, that's going to be done with some adjustment layers. New adjustment layers. Levels. We're going to use levels first. Now this is the levels dialog. What this tells you is this is the, the highlight end. This is the shadow end. If I bring this up, it's going to darken the image. See what it did? Darken it up. We don't want to do that. Um, if I take this in, it should lighten it. Um, but it's, it's created some areas right in here that are just pure, 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 pure white. There's no detail left. So I don't want to do that really. Um, perhaps I can go here and, and get the white point slider, or, or uh, I have to do, do this in the preview, which is really difficult because it's so small. Uh, let's move this up here. I got the white point slider here. We'll just tap and see what's white. Uh, that's okay, but it's a bit dark, so I don't want to do that. I'm going to reset that one as well. There we go. Okay, my solution to this whole thing, which I was aiming for anyways, is to take the midpoint slider and move it to the left. And that uh, that lightens the whole image. You can see how it is now? Much lighter. And if you want to modify that, you just double click, double tap on here. Oops, what did I do? Uh, you double tap, bring this over, and move it around a bit. Okay, so that's how you uh, go back in out of the, the levels dialog. Now it's better, but it's still kind of flat. So we need to add one more adjustment layer on. And I'm going to do a curves adjustment layer. 
Now curves always drives me crazy because if I get it wrong, my whole computer hangs up. So I'm gonna be very careful with this one. Uh, let's try the contrast. Well, that didn't seem to do very much. Let's do color. <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? Really? Um, I think maybe let's cancel this. Let's go right here and then do the curves on the on the layer rather than on there. Okay, contrast. Yeah, okay, color. E. Oh, that's good, isn't it? Nice green levels. Ooh, not good. Uh, let's reset it. Let's stay away from these guys. Let's just do a typical curves adjustment. A typical curves adjustment means you put a point here and you move it up. Okay, so now we've got some lightness. Now you put a point here, which is the shadow end, pull it down. Okay, now let's take a look at this. Okay, so there's my image now. And that's a lot better than it was originally, isn't it? Uh, so let's go on here. Right click on the on the raster layer, select it, right click on it, this is the background. View current only. View all. Big difference. Don't you think? I think it's a big difference. And it's a worthwhile difference. So that's how you use the average filter and a couple adjustment layers to uh, really get rid of a color cast, modify colors, get rid of uh, uh, things that you don't want. Um, it works well, it's fun, it's effective, and it was adapted from a Photoshop technique. When I first tried it with PaintShop Pro, eh, I failed miserably. Uh, I, I went back at it again, and yeah, it does work. It works well. So if you just follow these steps on your images. Well, maybe you don't have images with color casts. Maybe your images are perfect, but mine certainly are not. So uh, I need to know how to do this. So thanks for watching. I appreciate your time. I hope you found this information useful. And uh, go grab an image. Give it a try. Uh, thanks for visiting my site. If you came in through YouTube, uh, the URL for my site is right up here. And I'd love to see you visit. And uh, I appreciate your time. Take care. Bye now.